Mail 12.0 software supercharges your post base mailing system. In this demo, we'll discuss Mail 12.0 and all of its features. These include saving big money with commercial based pricing, printing convenient all in one 4x6 shipping labels, tracking your deliveries with electronic certified and electronic return receipt, finding the best rates with USPS rate shopping and making your accountant smile with unlimited three-tier accounting. Commercial-based pricing, or CBP, is a discount offered by the USPS to postage meter customers who process Priority and Priority Express mail. The discount ranges from 5% to over 50% off retail USPS Priority and Priority Express rates. It's truly easy to process a priority mail piece and get your commercial base pricing discount in Mail 1 2.0. You start by entering a recipient address into the Mail 1 2.0 address book. This address book stores your addresses either by entering them in manually or by importing from a spreadsheet. The address book is stored only on your PC and is completely secure. Once your addresses are entered, simply return to the main mailing screen to process your mail piece. First, choose Priority Mail CBP from the Mail 12.0 USPS rate list. Next, use the scale on your post base mailing system or manually enter the correct weight. If you're using USPS flat rates, you don't need to specify a weight at all. Next, choose the sender and recipient addresses from the address book. Mail 12.0 allows you to use different senders if various people or companies are shipping packages through one system and you can store as many addresses as you need. The software automatically checks USPS tracking right there, which is free with CBP and all other extra services are available if desired. Are you ready to print? Just hit the shipping label button. You can print the all-in-one 4x6 shipping label from either your label printer or regular office printer. We recommend a dedicated shipping label printer if you send lots of packages. The all-in-one label includes the recipient and sender addresses, the USPS tracking barcode, and of course the postage. So you don't have to print three different <sighs> labels. Mail 12.0 does it all for you in one label. When you ship packages, it's important to track them to their final destinations, right? Well, Mail 12.0 allows you to track your mail pieces right within the software. And we know everyone has unique needs in different situations, so you can find shipments by tracking number, account number, product, or date range. Electronic Certified and Electronic Return Receipt are convenient ways to document the delivery and acceptance of your letters and flats. Mail 12.0 prints Electronic Certified and Return Receipt labels automatically. You know what a pain it is to manually fill out Certified or Return Receipt forms? Never again. Using these electronic services with Mail 12.0 will save you $1.35 per return receipt piece. Woohoo! Processing certified and return receipt through Mail 12.0 couldn't be easier. Similar to processing a priority piece, it all starts with the old Mail 12.0 address book. Just like before, either add an address manually or use the importing function. Through the main mailing screen, choose first class letter or flat from the drop down menu. Check certified mail and return receipt. Place the mail piece on your post base scale or manually enter the weight. Next, you have to select your sender address and your recipient address. Just like that. Now that you're set up, just hit the certified label button to print the barcode and run the piece through your post base to apply the postage. Once the mail piece has been mailed out, you can go to the tracking tab in Mail 12.0 and choose FP certified. Log in 
and go to Tracking and Digital Signatures to find the tracking information and digital signatures you'll probably want to keep for your records. Mail 1.2.0 is super easy to use even for first timers. One feature that proves this is the USPS rate shopping tool. Have you ever been confused by all the different ways to mail? I know I have. This tool will help you pick the best mailing option as quick as you can click. From the main mailing screen, hit the Shop Rates button, make sure you're sending to the right country, and get the weight, enter the zip code, and you'll now see a list of all the available USPS rates with estimated delivery time and cost, so you can select the optimal service. Do you charge back clients, departments, or individuals that spend postage? Not only can Mail 1.2.0 save you time and money, but it also keeps accurate track of all your postal expenses and even breaks it down by client, department, and individual. Mail 1.2.0 comes standard with unlimited three-tier accounting. Here's how to set up your accounts in Mail 1.2.0. Hit the Accounts tab, and from there, the New button. Add an account number, the name, choose its level, and add any additional handling charges. Finally, hit save to put the record in. Now you can manually add accounts or you can use the import function to add them as a batch. Now you can start using these accounts that you have just added. Choose the account you'd like to charge postage back to from the right side of the main mailing screen. If there are multiple tiers you'd like to use, simply pick the ones you need from the drop-down list. Now that you have accurate records of all your postage used, you'll probably need to get this information to your accounting folks. Mail 1.2.0 offers over 30 detailed reports to handle this task. Choose the Reports tab from the main mailing screen and pick from a comprehensive list of reports. From there, you can preview, save, or print the report. As you can see, Mail 1.2.0 offers tremendously useful features, all standard, like commercial-based pricing, the all-in-one 4x6 shipping label, electronic certified and return receipt, USPS tracking, USPS rate shopping, and unlimited three-tier accounting. You can see why just about any mailer can benefit from using Mail 1 2.0. It's time to supercharge your mail.